Hey guys, it's TMC from Combined Arms Airsoft. Uh, here to do a review today on the Tactical Universal Clip. Uh, it's a great little system. Uh, you don't have to put any slings or anything like that on. So you got less entanglement as you can see. Uh, the basis of the system is uh, you got a pen here. Fits right into the the uh, base for the system here. Which is made out of uh, really durable, hard plastic. Uh, you can mount it to molly uh, webbing. I even had it mounted on the shoulder strap of uh, one of my chest rigs uh, the other day when I was out running around this thing for about four or five hours. Uh, really easy installation. Uh, as you can see, the the base of it here, you can uh, put it right onto your buffer tube. Uh, screws on. You have two uh, Allen heads and a little set screw in the bottom. Uh, mounts on. Even allows you a nice clearance here. As you can see, for your T-handle to still operate, no issues. Uh, there is also an adapter for you to put it on a regular full stock. Uh, I really, really liked using this the other day since uh, I didn't need to run around with a sling because I already had a camelback on on top of the chest rig, so I already had a bunch of straps going on. And uh, the transition for this is really easy. As you can see, you just you can pull it up, you slide in, you can transition into your handgun, you can pull it out, you can pull it back up. Easy transition, just drops right in there. Um, only issues that I had with it were this pen. As you can see, it comes right out here. You just unscrew it. Over time, this thing was backing out the other day. It didn't back out, you know, two or three threads or anything like that. Just just got a little loose, so if you put a little Loctite in on that, it's, it's going to seat it right in there. You're not going to have any issues. Um, the wear on this, I also like because it puts it, the weight of your gun right onto your load bearing equipment, vest, chest rig, or whatever. Vice having a sling where it's either cutting across your neck with the weight of the gun or on your shoulders, kind of moves around a little little awkward especially when you're trying to climb up uh, you know a rock face or move through some brush this thing as you can see you can just bend right over I think stays pretty much in place doesn't go anywhere and then you can just easily pull it right up um, this thing you can mount it either left or right side I'm left handed so obviously I have it mounted towards the right side of the gun to make it easier to just pull up side in um, I would definitely say this can help with transition uh, depending on what type of setup you have. You know, you can easily drop it in and pull your sidearm depending on where your holster is for that. Uh, haven't really done a whole lot of practicing with that. It was a little bit faster uh, just messing around with it than what it normally is with a sling for me. Just because you, you drop that weapon on a sling, it's going to pull down, it's going to bounce, it's going to move around a little bit. So you have a little bit of an entanglement issue, but it's not too bad. Um, like I said with this, no slings needed. Really, really easy installation on here and on the uh, the Molly vest. I'll go ahead and pop this base plate off here. As you can see it's just held on with a couple of Velcro straps. You pop this guy right off. Comes off there, and that's all it is. Um, it might be able to be made a little bit smaller. Move these Velcro strap uh, pieces in here. This is how it comes. But if you were to pull this off, move this strapping in, maybe hit this down a little bit with a Dremel, you could trim it down, make it a lot smaller. Um, and really, that's that's about the basis of it. Uh, this thing retails for around eighty dollars for the plate and for the ring setup on the buffer tube that I have. I uh, really appreciate the uh, guys at Tactical Universal Clips sending it out for us. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll I'll put up a link to their their web page and uh, their Facebook page so you can check out what all they got. They got some pretty high speed videos and stuff you can check out. Guys egressing from vehicles and transitioning and whatnot through there. So go check them out. I uh, really recommend this. I know it's you know eighty dollars is. Uh, a bit on the pricier side instead of a sling, 
But I mean, you can get a lot of slings too for fifty, sixty dollars. I mean, twenty dollars more, you got this thing. No entanglements. Lightweight. I really, really like the uh, the the versatility of it. You just drop your weapon into it, and you can go. And if you need to ditch it, it's a lot faster than trying to pull a sling off or undo quick release clips or any of that. You just pull it off and the way it goes. And like I said, the only way this thing's going to fall out is if you're hanging upside down because as you can see the opening's in the top. So it's a great little, great little add-on. So go check them out and uh, you might find something you like. Also, uh, I did hear they are coming out with uh, some adapters for different style guns. Vice just your standard, you know, shotgun, M16, standard stocks, and the buffer tubes. So keep an eye out for their newer products and see what they have. Alright, uh, make sure you guys subscribe and uh, check out our Facebook page, shoot us a like or whatever, and uh, we'll see you guys out in the field.